All right, today we're gonna to be talking about how to insert or clip on your x insomner to a sample. Um, so the most important thing to remember about x insomners is that each x insomner has what's called a gauge length. And a gauge length is essentially a reference used for calculations in acquiring the data. So when you set your x insomner on a sample, it set the teeth are a certain length apart to begin with. This is called the gauge length. Each x insometer is rated for a certain gauge length set by the device specifications. And you'll notice that a lot of x insometers, uh, let me correct that, all x insometers have some way of indicating where your gauge length is. So for example, you'll notice that this one here has a little pinhole that when you put a pin in there, the teeth are exactly at the gauge length, which in this case, I believe, is one inch apart. So in order to insert the x insometer on your sample, in this case, there's these two pins here. And what you do is you put your middle finger here and simply push these two pins and it allows these metal clamps to open the teeth. So what you're gonna do is again, push those pins in, set it on your sample, and let go. And I'll see the x insometer is on our sample. So if you come over here, another important note besides the gauge length is to make sure that the teeth are perpendicular to your sample. You want this to be lined up nice and straight. You don't want it wonky coming off the side like that. You want it nice and perpendicular. So you can bring your both hands to the side kind of like this and really make sure that both teeth are level and perpendicular to the sample. Once you've done that, all you're going to do is carefully remove this pin. And now your x insometer is set at the appropriate gauge length. One common mistake when taking these off after a sample breaks or you're ready for a new sample is forgetting to put the pin back in after setting it back up on a new sample. So let's say I have my x insometer here. I've just put in this new sample and I'm ready to um, insert the x insometer. So someone who doesn't have a good idea of what they're supposed to do might just simply come here, say, all right, clip this on, make sure it's straight. But this is not a good practice and in fact, can lead to terrible results. And the reason why is because the gauge length was not set at one inch. This here is not one inch. The device is expecting a gauge length of one inch. So again, it's important that before placing your device on the sample, you set the gauge length using the provided indicator, in this case the pin, place it on. Again, make sure it's straight. Then remove the pin. This ensures that your extensometer is at its gauge length. 